Hey, what's up guys? Jose here, ShreddedDad.com. In today's video, I wanna share with you some home organization ideas that I've used to build a full gym inside my garage and still have a ton of space. As you can see, I can park my car here without a problem. So I'm gonna show you some tips and ideas that I've used to get stuff off the floor onto the walls and the ceiling so that you start to see how this space opens up. Now, whether you have a garage gym or a room inside your house, you still have a lot of space available. You just have to know how to use the walls and the ceilings to your advantage. So I'm gonna show you how to pick up not only gym equipment off the floor, how to pick up toys and also some lawn equipment. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you get rid of all the crap that's just sitting in your garage. I was guilty of the same thing. I had a bunch of crap in there just sitting, taking up space and it wasn't helping me at all. So I decided to start selling it using some of that money to buy gym equipment. If you don't wanna sell this stuff, then either, either invest in a shed that you can keep in your backyard just for storage or put it in the attic somewhere. But all that stuff is just taking up valuable space that you could be using for your workouts. Another thing you wanna learn how to do is to use your walls to your advantage. Remember, you only have one floor and you have at least three walls. So you gotta make sure that you learn how to find wall studs so that you're able to put a lot of stuff on there. As you can see from my garage, once I put everything on the walls, I still have enough space in here to do whatever I want. So walls and ceilings are very important. The ceiling is also that's something very underutilized. I've been able to put up ladders, kit swings, my rings, my climbing ropes up there, and it's opened up a whole lot of room. Instead of having all that stuff laying down in a corner on the floor, throw it up on the ceiling and you'll see how much space you have. When it comes to home gym organization, you also wanna think outside the gym. What I mean by that is that you don't have to buy everything to organize your garage gym from a fitness company. There's a lot of products out there that will help you to organize your equipment at a fraction of the cost. One product that's helped me to save money and get stuff off the floor is tire hangers. So you can see there I have my weight plates on the wall being supported by tire hangers. These tire hangers hold up to 120 pounds of weight each and they sell for 50 bucks for a four pack. Now, not only do I have my weight plates on there, I also put some other heavier stuff as well. I have my sled on the wall there being supported by the tire hangers and I also have my dip bars, but you can support pretty much anything with these things and they're not very expensive. If you have a lot of accessory equipment such as jump rope, resistance bands, resistance tubes, anything that you can hang such as belts, you can put them on a tie and belt rack. You can get these anywhere for about 10 bucks and it'll get a lot of stuff off the floor. Another product that's very cheap and very helpful at getting stuff off the floor is heavy duty hooks like the ones you see here. This is where I sit my bench and then I have my barbell hanging onto those hooks as well and then parallettes and other stuff. I have my rower sitting on there, I have belts and I also have jump ropes. So very, very versatile piece of equipment, very inexpensive as well. I got these for about seven bucks and they can hold about 40 pounds. Now here's another product I use for my gym equipment. It's actually a tool holder. This is meant to hold tools. It can hold up to 65 pounds and this is where I keep my sledgehammer. Very simple to use, just stick it in there. This falls into a groove on the sides and then the front has a spring so it prevents anything from falling out. I also put my, my battle ropes on here and it stays on pretty well. Buy foldable pieces of equipment whenever possible. The more you can fold, the more space you're gonna have. I have a foldable weight sled, I have a foldable rack and a foldable bench. Now, out of all those three, this is the biggest piece of equipment I have in the whole gym. But when I fold it up against the wall, it only takes up four inches of space. So the more you can fold, the more space you're gonna have. Another tip is to use the holes in your weight rack to attach any accessories and get them off the floor. As you can see here, I have my spotter arms hanging on at the top of the squat rack and they're out of the floor. Just the same way that you put up the J hooks, you can do the same with other accessories such as your dip bar, your spotter arms, etc. Just get them off the floor, have more room for yourself. You can also repurpose stuff that you have laying around the house. This is an old bookshelf that I repurposed. Now I have it up against my wall where I keep all my recovery stuff. I have massage guns on there. I have push-up bars. I have my foam roller up there. And all I did was put pipe fittings, metal pipe fittings in the corners that are holding this up and now it gets a lot of stuff off the floor and out of the way. Another product that saves me a lot of space is adjustable dumbbells like the ones you see here from PowerBlock. Instead of having a whole rack of dumbbells, these dumbbells can go from five to 70 pounds and only take up this much space. So not a lot of space taken up and to double on the space saving, you wanna make sure you get a stand that also doubles as a weight rack. As you see here, I can shove some weight plates in there, saves me space, I can use it as a stand and weight plate holder. 
and everything is just in one tiny space. If you like boxing as a form of cardio, then I suggest you invest into portable pieces of equipment like the ones you see here that have a fillable base. I have a heavy bag here and I also have a reflex bag. Now this gives me the ability to move the bags all around my garage and when I'm done, I simply turn it over like this and I can get it out of the way. So instead of having something stuck in the ceiling where it's just permanent in one position, this gives you the ability to move stuff out of the way and push it into a corner. During the summer, your garage can get extremely hot. So it's a very good idea to invest in some fans. So what I did is I got some wall mounted fans. I didn't want to have any on the floor taking up space. And what I did is I just installed them on the bracket that goes from the garage door track all the way up to the ceiling. This way they are out of the floor, not taking up space. And then I just connect them over to the outlet that powers the garage door. You want to make sure you use as much wall space as possible. I have a two door garage, so I have a space in between the, the doors. And what I've done is I've put up bungee cords and these bungee cords are holding up a lot of the basketballs and footballs, any other balls that you have laying around. Now they also sell sports racks that do the same thing. I just decided to make this on my own and you may not have one in the middle. You may not have space in the middle, but sometimes people have space to the side of their garage door. So this would be an idea to hold up any sort of basketballs, footballs, or whatever toys your kids may have. A lot of people keep gardening and lawn tools in their garage. So one thing you can do to get them off the floor is to buy a wall track organization system like the one that you see here. This gives me the ability to get a lot of tools off the floor and into a hook that keeps them vertical and gets them out of the way. So there you have it guys. Those are some of my best home organization ideas in order to get your gym looking a whole lot better. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're gonna try at your home gym to make it look better. As always, I'm gonna leave links below this video for all the pieces of equipment that I showed you. And I'm also gonna leave a link to a blog post where I have everything I showed you here today more in detail. I hope you liked the information in this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments and questions down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And also make sure you click on that notification bell down there so that you don't miss the latest videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.